Well, the edu to me, to me, uh, the education is the most important thing because, you know, um, this is a this is a legacy, man. It's it's like our heritage and this is our culture. So it's important. And a lot of us don't know about it, and it's not. It's because nowadays, I mean, nobody teaches you anything about your history or your culture because they they try to. I don't know. They try to hide it from you or they try to keep it from you because, for what reasons, I don't know. For, I don't know, but it's it's very important to keep this part of uh, our history alive because this is the only thing that we have as Americans. This is an American art form, and this one of this is about this is it. I mean, besides, what else is there? This is the only art form we have. Classical Baseball. music is European, and ba yeah, we have sports. <laughs> This? You go on about. The, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's that's fine. That's fine. The, yeah, this American is art form. this is this is America's art form. This is what we've contributed, especially at, well as African Americans. This is what we've contributed to to the states when, when once we were brought here, and the the mixtures of uh, of uh, the blues and and the spirituals and hymns. That's how jazz evolves through through a bunch of feelings that were taking place at that time. In the 20s, it's kind of hard for me to <laughs> speak on that because I wasn't there. But I'm just kind of continuing that tradition. I, I saw I was I had a chance to see some great drummers and some great musicians all around when I was a kid. And I, I'm fortunate that I have an older brother. His name's Robert Landham. He's an alto player, and uh, he kept me interested in the music as I was coming up. And he always, you know, explained told, told me about. The history of uh, the music and, and and certain I learned about different different styles within the within the idiom like you know uh, like Duke Ellington stuff as opposed to Basie stuff you know where the grooves are are different but it's all you know it's all based on the same vibe you you know so I'm trying to continue that I'm trying to I'm trying to play something so that you hear that tradition on one side and you hear everything that's going on now on the other side. I want to, you know, I want to kind of like extend jazz from where it's been into, into maybe where it's going. Where do you, because uh, it is like a terrible and, you know, I mean, there's it's, it was such a fast pace, you know, you went, I mean, the development of jazz through mm -hmm. the ages, you know, it seemed like it, at, at the 80s, it kind of, it, it, it got it kind of, yeah. It kind of fizzled, it's not yeah. fizzled, but it kind of like. Yeah, it leveled off. I would I would even say like the 70s is when it started when it really got difficult because uh, pop music and rock music started to get really popular like with the Beatles towards the end of the 60s and and, and a lot of people uh, and fusions came out in, in the uh, late 60s early 70s so people were trying to get away from the, the normal just uh, swing thing you know it was they, they wanted to express themselves with with more of a, a, a pocket thing behind them or or just they just wanted to experience some different I think they were looking for change and I think that the sound of the instruments and 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 uh, the sound of the instruments at that time had a lot to do with it as well like uh, a lot of the bass players started playing electric it was a lot of electric instruments at the time a lot of the pianists started playing uh, Fender Roots and electric pianos like uh, Herbie Hancock and Joe Zawinul they were doing a lot of chicoria you know so it I think it was it was a lot of that. People wanted to get away from the normal sound and the natural feel, and and after a while, it seemed like there wasn't there there weren't very many there weren't very many musicians that were uh, I mean generations that followed that were coming up, you know, really keeping the the, the uh, traditional jazz alive. It just kind of went to the side for a minute. It was on hold. It seemed like, so to speak, you know. So how about here, keeping the tradition alive, but, uh, you know, you got the young guys that are, I talked to uh, Ed and mm -hmm. Tate, and they're, I mean, they're, they're, they also have a passion for hip hop. Like, Sure, uh, sure. Can you talk about the young guys? And Sure, well, know? what what happens is that, that um, each generation, we're all influenced by different music. So what happens is you get, like there there's music that I've heard coming up, and I'm a little bit older than those guys, I'm, I may be, maybe six or seven years older than them. So there's things that I heard from the 70s that they didn't get a chance to hear. And that, come, that reflects you. you. What you hear comes through when you're playing. So I, I'm influenced by that. And all those influences come out. And you know, I'm also influenced by hip hop because it started as I was coming up and I was a teenager with it. You know, it's much different now than it was then. But 
all these influences that that the people here it's like jazz is not only the traditional it's, it's it's not only derived from traditional music it's it's like from from all types of music it can be from eastern music from eastern indian music or it can be from from western classical music you can get you can be inspired from anywhere and that'll come through when you're playing and that's what you hear with a lot of these young guys you hear the the hip hop generation cuz that's this is music of their time so that's going to have an inf a big impact on what they're playing you know uh, jazz wise with what's going on with the swing thing that's that's definitely going to you're going to hear some different stuff because of that. And that's how it goes from generation to generation. We're all exposed to a different form of music or a different style of music. And then it just kind of like develops into your playing and it. And you carry it somehow, you know. Um, how about, just talk about the club. 